if you ever wanted to learn how to wax but were just so scared on how much it'll actually hurt because same that was me when I first started waxing. But here are some tips to help make your waxing experience less painful and much easier on yourself. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Destiny. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the family. This week we're back with another waxing video and today we're going to be talking about ways to reduce pain while waxing. <laughs> Happy someone, I'm so happy someone made a fucking video about this. I know a lot of you guys have been waxing yourselves at home based on my playlist here on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check that out. But this definitely goes for all forms of waxing, soft, hard, sugaring, you name it. So if you want to figure out a few ways on how to make your wax easier, keep on watching this video. I'm going to give you guys quite a few tips and full disclosure, I am a wax professional. So take these tips seriously. They will really help you out. But without further ado, let's just get right on into it. First off, I have my phone here. I'm going to be reading off of my phone just to make sure I stay on track because I like to talk a little bit. But we're gonna get through this okay first of all waxing is safe and effective when done correctly but it is not painless okay there's no way a wax is gonna be painless unless you've been doing it for many years and build up the tolerance for it and your hair thins out over time but if you're a person who has been shaving most of their life babes that ish is probably gonna hurt okay it's not if you get hurt it's when and how bad so listen to these tips and you'll feel a little bit better and a little bit more confident in going into your next wax after watching this video this is equal parts scotch absinthe rum gin vermouth triple sec and two packs of splenda call it a one of everything oh my god <laughs> everyone has a different pain tolerance but there are always ways to reduce the pain you might experience while getting a wax here are eight tips in total that i have here that will help you out first off make sure your hair is the right length if you have hair that is too short it is not going to come up and you're going to cause unnecessary irritation and if it is too long you're going to cause way more pain because that wax has way more hair to tug off and if you have sensitive skin that is a no-go so usually a rule of thumb we like to follow is no shorter than a grain of rice and i know a few of these tips i have said in previous videos but they are very valid and you should be paying attention to these tips second do not tense up or hold your breath try to stay relaxed and use your breath to help you get through those strips so when i was in practice working i would always tell my clients to breathe out on three because that is when I will be pulling the strip. It just helps get through the pain a little bit easier and your breath really does help regulate your body. So if you are tensing and holding your breath, odds are it's gonna hurt way more than it actually should. So the more you tense up, the more painful it kind of is gonna be. So try your best to relax and not tense up any of your muscles in your body. And this goes for any area on the body. No matter what you're doing, a lip wax, an underarm wax, a bikini wax, you name it. Anywhere on the body, these tips are definitely going to make a difference. Third tip I have for you guys is to not drink caffeine or indulge in any stimulants. You want to make sure that you do not have any type of stimulant because that is going to heighten your senses and really make that wax a little bit more painful. And usually you can get pinpoint bleeding, especially when you are consuming alcohol. It does thin out your blood just a little bit, so you are more likely to bleed after your wax so that is one thing you want to avoid try your best to not do it before wax think of it as a little sweet treat after your wax number four is to choose the right time of the month so this goes for my ladies that are waxing if you are waxing right before your menstrual that ish is gonna hurt like a mother trucker okay ah, get that you are way more sensitive right before your menstrual. The one time you really can get it done that you're likely going to be less sensitive is after your menstrual. Like the week or two right after your menstrual is done, 
Usually we have a stronger pain tolerance around that time. So if you want to try waxing out, I definitely recommend to wait for week one or two after your menstrual and you're going to be set up for success. But if you do it right before, it's going to hurt. Oh, wow. I hate you. I hate you. Stop smiling, you jerk. You can get waxed on your period, but be wary that you are gonna be ultra sensitive because you're on your menstrual, yeah? So next tip is exfoliate one to two days prior to your wax. You do not wanna exfoliate the day of your wax because wax naturally already exfoliates your skin and takes off that layer of dead skin cells. So if you are exfoliating right before you go in for a wax, you're setting yourself up for disaster, redness, and irritation, possibly ingrowns, yeah? So make sure you're just exfoliating one to two days before so that you have a nice clean slate and no buildup of dead skin cells on those hair follicles that will possibly not make your wax come out perfect. Number six is if needed, you can use an ice pack for five to 10 minutes on the area that you are waxing to kind of numb it before you are going in for that wax. That's an alternative to numbing cream. I know a lot of people were commenting under my sugar wax videos here on YouTube asking if they can use numbing cream. Honestly, each to one's own. If you want to numb the area, you can buy a over-the-counter numbing cream. I just get a little wary about numbing cream in intimate areas, but people have done it before and it's completely safe. Just make sure that you're reading the directions and using it correctly. But one way I like to go is natural so I do not use numbing creams myself I used to get laser hair removal like four years ago and I found out that using an ice pack right before getting your procedure done helps reduce the pain easy peasy if you want to try it out I feel like an ice pack will be a little safer than just spreading numbing cream everywhere right so Try it out, five to 10 minutes right before your wax. It's gonna be ultra cold, obviously, cause it's an ice pack, but it's gonna numb your skin just a little bit to help you get through that wax way easier. Take that hyperthermia for fashion, a whole never gets cold. You heard me? So if you find that you have a low pain tolerance, no matter where you're waxing, try an ice pack, babe. Let me know how that goes. That's probably gonna help you out. Number seven is to hydrate and moisturize your skin. If you are waxing dry skin, odds are hairs are gonna break. Skin can crack. Literally, try to take care of your skin. Think of it as like, if you have a dry piece of skin and you wax over it, there's way more that can go wrong as opposed to a hydrated, supple piece of skin. That hair is gonna come out so much easier. You're less likely for breakage and ingrown. So the more hairs break, the more susceptible you are to ingrown hairs and no matter where an ingrown hair can pop up it's always gonna suck babe so make sure that you are hydrating and moisturizing yes moisturizing no matter where it is on your body especially bikini lines and facial waxing if you are waxing over dried skin you are going to have redness possibly swelling and ingrown hairs which is triple whammy that we do not want on our skin especially while waxing number eight is to wax regularly it will eventually get easier and cause your hair to thin over time which results in a less painful experience overall so if you are brand new to waxing odds are your first few are gonna suck and i'm just gonna be honest with you they're probably gonna suck but you're gonna have great results as long as you keep up with it if you go between waxing one month shaving the next waxing the other month you're gonna always start out from square one if you take a razor to a waxed area it's gonna grow just as thick as if you are shaving the whole time every time you try to go back in for a wax after shaving it's gonna feel like the first time all over again Take it from me, if you want to start waxing, try to stay consistent with it. It will get better. Trust me, it'll get easier. And your hairs will grow out thinner, which results in a much more pleasant experience while you're waxing. I know that's not what you really want to hear, but it's the truth, and I love you. So I'm going to give you the hard truth about it, right? So a lot of us have sensitivity no matter where we wax. So especially if you want to do your own bikini and underarm waxing at home, the best thing you can do is be consistent and just work on your own time. Try not to do ginormous strips that you know you cannot pull off, sis. Why are we doing that? Why? <laughs>
Just don't. Be truthful with yourself and know what you can and cannot handle. Do not go into a wax if you've never done it before with big ass drips. It's not gonna work out, babe. Lastly, this is a little extra tip that I have for you guys is to not try waxing over any sunburned or irritated areas especially skin tags warts moles things like that do not wax over them it's not only dangerous but it can give you lots of pain ah. Ah. Try your best to work around those areas. You do not want to try and lift up a mole, a skin tag, or anything like that because you are going to end up bleeding and might need to go to a doctor. You're going to be way more susceptible to infection if you have a opening in the skin. So make sure you're taking your due diligence. Always do research before you try out a new product or try out anything new by yourself at home. But that is all the tips I have for you guys today. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you're giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It definitely helps me out to continue to make content for you guys. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know some ideas in the comments. I love reading your comments and trying to make more content that you guys actually want to see here on YouTube. So don't be shy. Let me know your questions in the comments. This week's subscriber shoutout will be in the next slide and I'll see you guys next week in the next video. Bye.